everybody, welcome back to the Craft Beer Hub. We've got another beer review for you, and it is this beer. This is from Lakes, or The Lakes? No, just Lakes. Lakes Brew Co. <clears throat> now, Lakes Brew Co., from what I've heard, um, they've kind of, they started, um, they started in a way that was quite sort of unusual. So, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, um, from what I heard at Beer X in Liverpool back in March. I believe these guys were formed after a bit of COVID happened and certain people found themselves in a bit of a difficult employment situation. These guys um, departed Hawkshead. I don't, I don't know the situation, but I think it's, it's, a, it's a bit funny. Um, Hawkshead, these guys departed Hawkshead. They must have got some insane investment in because if you remember that beautiful, beautiful brewing kit, that automated brewing kit, that was on Paul's Beer Reviews channel. If you don't know it, check it out. It was the SSV Brewing Kit that was at Beerex back when we went up in March. Um, they've got one of these, and those kits aren't cheap. So they must have some pretty guys, pretty good guys backing them. Anyway, that's not really my thing. I don't know why I'm really saying that. But for me, these guys have been one of the shining, shining lights um, of the UK craft beer scene in 2022. Um, I say that because I've had a couple of their beers now. I've had their double dry hop pills now, and I've had their new, the, sorry, their double dry hops pale, and their New Zealand pills now. I had both of them at BRX, and both of those beers were nothing short of sensational. So I was up north in the Lake District a few days ago. Um, I went to a, a supermarket called Booths. It's kind of like the Waitrose of the North. It's very, it's very, very bougie in there. Um, and I saw this on the shelf um, amongst some other amazing up and coming UK craft brewers, uh, you know, uh, uh, other new up and coming UK craft brewers um, beers. I saw this and I thought, you know what, I'm going to have it. I, I've kind of got, weirdly, now we've gone into autumn, it's a bit strange. I've kind of gone back into the New Englands. Obviously, this is the New England Session IPA. It comes in at 4.7%. It's a 440 can. And I paid £3.50 for this in. Um, in booths um so yeah <clears throat> that's kind of where we are i'm really excited for this because the other lakes beers like i've had like i say are really have been really really good i've not long got this out the fridge <clears throat> um but you know what probably should have left it a little bit longer but it's going to be great anyway isn't it let's go in my beer isn't set too cold actually um, sorry my fridge isn't set too cold let's get her open nice smoky can opening and let's get her in the glass. I've got my nice twisted hops Allegra glass here. And boom. I'll tell you what, straight away, that looks the absolute part. <clears throat> that looks mega. Oh my God, look at the sediment. <laughs> Can you see that? Wow, proper, proper beer. Now it's worth mentioning, this, this beer and these Lakes beers, <clears throat> They've been doing amazingly on Instagram and YouTube um, for the quality. And look at that. That is a Session IPA. Look at the state of it. Oh, my God. That looks amazing. We've kind of got a straw to amber coloured hazy beer. Can't <laughs> The sediment at the bottom. I mean, can you see that? Um, one finger white, soft, cloudy, cloud-like head. Um, it looks absolutely on the money. Um, let's get an aroma then. Oh, melon. Slight hint of pineapple. Peach and lime. Jesus, this smells amazing. Yeah. Melon, melon, pineapple, peach, and lime every single day of the week. Um, this looks absolutely sensational. <laughs> they haven't let me down so far. It looks good. Let's go in. Cheers, everybody.
That's good. That's really good. As you would expect, that <clears throat> pineapple and melon up front, the pineapple is a lot more pronounced in the flavour than it is in the aroma for me. Then you get a nice soft peach. With a nice citrusy finish that's obviously not too bitter because it's New England, it's not meant to be bitter. Nice drying citrusy finish. That is pretty damn good. <laughs> that is pretty damn good. Really, really like this. Slight wafer malt up front, and then it's just a hop showcase. <clears throat> I find, I don't know about you, but I find melon really refreshing. It's a refreshing flavour, much more so than pineapple. And the melon. Yeah, sorry, the screen went funny. The melon, the melon for me overrides the pineapple flavour. Um, which is good. I like that. I actually I absolutely like that. Um, it keeps things light for me. It's not too heavy. Then the citrus in the middle just works perfectly. And then the low bit of this finish obviously is just absolutely delightful. At no point is this beer overly sweet. I wouldn't even say it's sweet for a New England. The sweetness is really dialed back. And with that low bitterness at the back, that keeps things really balanced here. This is good. This is really, really good. Let's have a look at the can then. See if you can tell us anything. 4.7%. Um, New England Session IPA, hazy, hop, hoppy and tropical. Hops are Equinot, Mosaic, Cryo, Citra, Eldorado and Amarillo. Ingredients are water, malted barley, wheat, oats, hops and yeast. Um, brewed down in Kendall. It's just, I'll, tell you what that, I'll tell you what that is, that's just a bloody good beer. That is a no-nonsense bloody good beer. Um... <clears throat> It totally fits in with what I've drunk this year from Lakes. Um, they're doing some amazing things, and from, like I say, from how they from how they started, I think there's nothing nothing more than uh, nothing more than they deserve. They've been doing amazing, and this is just another fantastic beer. Um, yeah, really quite nice. That's just quality. It's, it's a it's New England Session IPA, but it's, it remains sort of light and crisp somehow. I think it might be to do with the carbonation rather than it being like soup-like. I think the carbonation keeps it nice and fresh. I think I said a little while ago, I had, I had an Iron Pier Session IPA um, that I wasn't really that bothered about. Um, this knocks stripes off of that. I think I said earlier in the year, I said I might have had the best Session IPA or one of the best Session IPAs I've ever had from Wild Beer Co. That's in the supermarket currently. I think this beats it. I think this is probably... <sighs> that was the benchmark for me in my head in terms of Session IPAs because I hadn't had one for such a long time that blew me away like that Wild Beer Co. one did. And this is just... It's just something. There's just something special about this beer. It's a session IPA to me should have all the characteristics of an IPA, but keeping things slightly lighter. I um, in ABV and in sort of the way it feels in the mouth. Um, but you don't want to be sacrificing hop quality 
because that's what IPAs are about, right? They're hop quality. It's a hop show. IPAs are hop showcase beers, and I think this does every single bit of that and more. Um, this is really good. Um, really, really good. I, it's a five out of five. I, I, I can't slate it. I, can't, I just can't. I've got absolutely no. I've got no issue with that. I mean, look at it. So yeah, five out of five, can't fault it. Top draw beer. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Leave a like and subscribe if you'd be so kind. And get in the comments if you've had this. Lakes Brewing Co. They are going to be big. Big year in 2023. They've had a huge year anyway, but yeah, they're going to go places. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.